So in the last video, we covered three mining engineering universities on the west coast of Canada, and they were the University of British Columbia, BCIT, and University of Alberta. And in this video, we'll cover the five schools on the east coast, which are University of Toronto, McGill, Queens, Laurentian, and Dalhousie. So starting off with University of Toronto, they are a very strong school academically and they consistently rank within the top 30 schools worldwide. A four-year bachelor's degree for international students who cost 241,000 Canadian dollars and you need an overall IELTS band of 6.5 with no band below 6.0 or an internet-based TOEFL score of 100 with at least 22 on writing. As one of the top three schools in Canada, graduates have placed well in jobs all around Canada. Since Toronto is the finance capital of Canada, U of T is a good school to go to if you have an interest to work on the financial side of the mining industry. For the MEng course-based masters or the MASc thesis-based masters, they are offered in conjunction with the civil engineering department and you can choose to specialize in mining engineering. To gain admissions in these programs, you need a minimum GPA of 3.0 out of 4 or 75% and a 93 in TOEFL with 22 in writing and speaking or 7.0 in IELTS with at least 6.5 in each component. The full-time tuition fee for a master's program will be 61,000 Canadian dollars. Next is McGill, which is also one of the top three schools in Canada, and they typically rank in the top 40 schools worldwide. The four-year bachelor degree program will cost 197,000 Canadian dollars, and you'll need a TOEFL score of 90, with at least 21 in each of the testing area. For IELTS, you need an overall score of 6.5 with individual component scores of 6.0 or better. For a master's degree in mining engineering, which can be thesis or project based, you'll be paying a fee of around 28,000 Canadian dollars. To be accepted, you need a minimum CGPA of 3.0 out of 4 or a GPA of 3.2 out of 4 in the last two years of full-time studies and as well two letters of recommendations in addition to meeting the English requirements which requires an overall score of 86% for the internet based tests and no less than 20 in each of the test areas. One thing to note is that McGill is in Montreal which is a bilingual city so while courses are taught in English sometimes you may hear classmates or people around the city speak in French. Up next is Queens, which is located in a city called Kingston, which is three hours away by car from Toronto. The four-year bachelor's degree will cost $203,000 for international students. And like the other schools, you need an overall score of 6.5 in your IELTS with 6.0 in each area. But for TOEFL, you need an 88 overall with 24 in writing, 22 in speaking, 22 in reading, and 20 in listening. If you're interested in the graduate degree, you need to pay around 20,000 Canadian dollars and typically you need a bachelor's background in a related engineering field with at least a B- average. The TOEFL requirements are the same but for IELTS, you need an overall score of 7.0. While Kingston is a small city with a population of just around 125,000 people, it is a tight-knit environment since students mostly live just by the university, which leads to a strong and vibrant student community. Moving on to Laurentian, you're looking at $135,000 Canadian dollars for a bachelor's degree and $29,000 for a master's degree. The TOEFL requirements are 88 overall and IELTS is 6.5 overall with no band lower than 6.0. Laurentian University is located in Sudbury, Ontario, which is a hotspot for underground mining companies such as Valet, Glencore, and more. Sudbury is also home to many firms that are dedicated to the research and development of new mining technologies such as Mining Innovation, Rehabilitation and Applied Research Corporation, or Miracle for short, the Northern Center for Advanced Technology, or NORCAT, 
and the Center of Excellence in Mining Innovation, or SEMI for short. Last but not least is Dalhousie University, which is located in Halifax. The bachelor's degree program will cost $126,000, while the master's will cost around $23,000 Canadian dollars. For the TOEFL IPT, you will need a 90 and 6.5 overall for IELTS. Even though Halifax is one of the most eastern city in Canada, graduates are still able to get jobs all around Canada including as far west in Alberta such as in the oil sands companies. So that's it for this short video series. Hopefully you learned more about the Canadian Mining Engineering University landscape. As always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.